each other. Hi, my name is Felicia Daniels. My name is Eduardo Moran. And our assignment is on Dr. Pepper's Snapple Group on team development. Team development is the most important part of business management. The beverage company, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, has successfully mastered team development by creating a relationship amongst its employees and its customers. It is a vital part of achieving our vision to be the best beverage business by being the, large, the third largest beverage company in the United States. Dr. Pepper's passion is building teams that win. Over the years, Dr. Pepper Snaffle Group, Inc. have implemented programs that enabled more than 19,000 employees to learn from their peers and take charge in pushing for progress within the company. Dr. Pepper Snaffle Group will emphasize every day that great people and great brands will produce great results. In 2006, the company established its own bottling and distribution network when it acquired full ownership of Dr. Pepper Snapple Bottling Group. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group was established in 2008. My name is Abosidi Oluri. I'm a member of the Dorado team. I'm here to talk briefly about DPS, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is one of the oldest beverage company in the United States of America. But as of today, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is the third largest beverage company in the United States of America. In 1783, Gene Jacob perfected the carbonated water, creating the first mineral drink. This creation of Gene Jacob leads to what we know today as Dr. Pepe drink. In 1885, a pharmacist named Charles Alditon in Waco, Texas, invented Dr. Pepe and later Dr. Pepe drink was named after Dr. Charles Pepe. In 2008, Dr. Pepe Snapple Group acquired its full ownership from 7-Up Bottling Company. As of today, Dr. Pepe Snapple Group have more than 50 different kinds of flavor. The company, Dr. Pepper Snapper Group, developed teams to create vision and make the vision to make the best beverage for the customers. In order to be one of the top beverage companies, they had to build teams who are hardworking and dedicated. In order for Dr. Pepper to develop uh, winning teams, they use the acronym ACTION, which A stands for accountable. Accountable to go by what they say, no matter what. And then the next letter will be to C, which stands for customers, which is the most important one for the company. Without the customers, there won't be no Dr. Pepper what it is today. The next letter will be the T. T means for transparent and honesty. They have ne they don't, they never have anything to hide from the public. The, the next letter would be the I, would be inspect. They always inspect every product they send out. They tr always try to deliver 
and give the best quality for the customers in order to stand uh, at top of the, in order to be one of the top beverages. O means that they own up by their decisions. The N is the last letter, which means they, the no blame. They don't play the blaming game on anybody. If they have a problem in a company, they always stand up to it and try to fix it in order to have the customer satisfied. And in order to develop the teams, Dr. Pepper has a campus called DPS or Dr. Pepper Snapper Group. The advantage of teams on Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is that it will significantly improve customer service, products, and service quality, speed, and efficiency, and product development. In order to create great teams, Dr. Pepper Snapple has its own online training program called DPS Campus. It allows teams to develop with the knowledge to improve team building. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group involves employees involvement teams, which is teams that provide advice or make suggestions to management concerning specific issues in regards to boosting sales for the company. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is working on project teams and which is a team created to complete specific tasks or projects within a limited time when opening up new facilities within different countries or communities. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group is setting team goals and priorities, which is a high advantage for boosting customer service and allows a clear focus and purpose in order for Dr. Pepper to be a better business. For the quarter reported net sales of $1.6 billion, increased 3% of favorable products and packages mix, a 1% increase in sales volumes and higher prices. Net sales growth was reduced in the quarter by one percentage point of a variable foreign currency translation. Reportedly, segment operation profit, also as SLP, increased 3% or $12 million on net sales growth, lower logistics costs and ongoing productivity improvements, which were partially offset by a $16 million increase in planned marketing investments and increases in a certain other operating expenses. Reported income from operations for the quarter was $3.7 million, which included $9 million in unrealized commodity mark-to-mark -mark gains and $5 million non-cash gains on the step acquisition of a joint venture, Aquafiel business in Mexico. Reportedly, income from operations was $337 million in the prior year, which included $9 million in unrealized community mark to market losses. Core income from operations for the quarter was $364 million, up 5%, and represented 21.7% of net sales, compared to 21.3% in the prior year period. Year-to-date reported net sales of $4.86 billion, increase of 3%. From reported income from operations, was 1.10 billion, including 41 million in unrealized commodity mark to market gains. Foreign currency translation negativity impacted reported net sales and reported 
income. Reported income from operations for the prior year was 976 million, which included 5 million in unrealized comedy market to market losses. Core income from operation was 1.06 billion, up 8%, representing 21.7 of net sales compared to 20.8 in the prior year. The Dr. Pepper company has made many strides to become a leader in team development. However, there are things that can be done in the future to better the company in many areas. Two of the key parts of team development are strong leadership and generating diversity. Leadership is ahead of any team. Without strong leadership, teams will not be able to make their end goals. Leaders have to be willing to make difficult decisions of the group and be willing to improve things around them. Thank you.